Hey everybody, welcome back to Omega Zone Gaming. And today we're also going to be having a new Omega Zone Theories. So, what all could I theorize on now? So, lately I've been playing a lot of Kingdom Hearts. And I do mean a lot. Everything from the new games, the new mobile games, to 0.2, to Dream Drop, to, to the older games. Pretty much if it's Kingdom Hearts related, I've been playing it. So, lately I've actually been doing a lot of thinking. And I've come up with a little bit of a thought. A little bit of a possibility. And that is to... Vince Nobody. We know of at least two times within Kingdom Hearts current lore that Vin has lost his heart and has it, had it repaired by Sora. It's still sleeping in Sora to this day, in fact. So, here's my question. He's lost his heart twice. Why would he not naturally have a nobody? We've even seen people who have not lost their bodies at all, such as Kairi, have a nobody in the form of Domine. And I know what you're all going to say. Well, Kairi's special. She's a princess of heart, one of the seven pure maidens. And while, yes, that is true, or on the alternative, you could say during the uh, factor in. Uh, you know, this was more of a story of the journey of the three friends and them fighting Xehanort, so they put Tatsuya put no worry towards uh, what could have happened to uh, Vin and Sora's heir, and you know, you would just speculate that maybe if he does have nobody, we just haven't seen it yet, or maybe. Uh, it's a special case where he just wouldn't have one. But I come up with some major flaws in that. And that one is the whole Kyrie thing. Every, it seems, key player anyway, in Kingdom Hearts, at one time or another, tends to lose their self in one shape or form. Sora, Kyrie. Riku to a different type of extent, but yes, he still does. So, why is Ventus so different to the point that he doesn't even follow the normal conventions? Well, spoilers for two mobile for a mobile game. We recently discovered Ben is to play a huge, huge, huge role in Union Cross. What you gotta remember is while Birth by Sleep is a pretty good distance away from the start of Kingdom Hearts, and definitely from the two years that transpire between uh, Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Hearts 2. The Keyblade War is much further away. Like insanely far away. Hundreds, perhaps even thousands of years prior. Which would also account for most of the, you know, Disney World differences to the worlds that we've seen and before the Keyblade War. So, here's the thing. Vin was revealed to be a dandelion. If you don't know what the dandelions are, they are essentially this game's heroes in a sense. The way, real way I guess you would put it is 
they're meant to go out and repopulate the world after the Keyblade War. Now, how do we know this takes place shortly after the Keyblade War, or at least during the time of the events of the Keyblade War? Well, you actually see characters from the Keyblade War conversing. Vin is one of them. Where are they conversing? The Keyblade Graveyard. That's right, the Keyblade Graveyard. The one in the same Keyblade Graveyard. So, while I know this is just a theory and it's just for fun, and it's probably not at all what Tsuya Nobora has in mind for the franchise or the story, Let's speculate for a second. There is a line that Master Xehanort uses in one of the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailers. And on this battlefield, darkness shall prevail, and the light shall be extinguished. It has already been written. So, the average person, the person not creating a theory anyway, would be like, okay, so he's just being literal. He's What he's telling you is that there's light and darkness and that, they're go that they did fight at one point. He's not, be he's following the Book of Prophecies. And he's telling you literally what the book says is going to happen. That's one way to interpret what he says, that he's telling you literally what the Book of Prophecies says will happen at the end of this game. Okay. Okay, let's let's presume on that theory. Then if if that's 100 percent right, what I say has no bearing and means nothing. It's not gonna change anything, you know, you'll still have your Kingdom Hearts story where you want it. But for instance for for instance Let's say good old Namora san is being quite literal for a change with that line. Let's say that when Xehanort says that line that was written for him, he is literally meaning those who forget history are doomed to repeat it. What if he means that? Let's factor in Ventus was around during the Keyblade Warrior, long before Birth by Sleep. Yet, he doesn't look like he's aged a day. And it's not the reincarnation scenario or any of that. We have had him actually called by name. His name is Ventus. Well, how would this be possible then? Well, one for sure way, one almost undeniable way, is if he ended up in some sort of sleep, like Sora did. That or time travel. We know Nomura loves his time travel in Kingdom Hearts now. So let's not write time travel 100% out. It could be that my theory could be just gone up in a puff of smoke. But let's say, for a quick instance, that it's not time travel, that it does have something to do with Ventus being asleep for a long time. But let's face it, by the time Birth by Sleep comes around, Ben is. A, I would call him a barely usable Keyblade wielder at that point. Especially when he's training with Master Xehanort. So much to the point that it actually irritates Master Xehanort to the point where he removes the darkness from Vin's heart, which is what puts him in his first coma state, by the way. So, let's say, in this case, that Vin is our titular Sora. That he's the original. Let, let's put it like that. Let's say original. That history is quite literally repeating itself. I'm still missing one treasure chest for this area. 
Sorry about that. I don't know what I'm doing, but let's say he's our digital Sora. He's the original. This all happened before. Let, let's pr propose that as theory. What if Vin himself was from a different town, much like Sora was? I'm not going to say he's from Destiny Islands. I'm not going to throw that one out there. Don't even... Uh, that would be horrible. No more, don't use that one. Whatever you do. But let's, let's say he has ties to Destiny Island. Say he has some things that tie him there. But the stories are similar. Let's say his Destiny Island is well, one town that maybe we've seen in Kingdom Hearts 3 sure, or at least the one that got Lee that nobody was supposed to see. Cable Town. And let's say he had two friends. And let's say originally he was never a Keyblade Wilbur. He stumbled into it just like Sora did. Right place, right time. And let's also, while we're on that number, say that he had to free his heart to save a friend. Just like Sora did. Well, that would have created, the, created nobody for him and that friend. Let's say the f friend's nobody was a lot like Naminé. Now, there is a line in Birth by Sleep where the final episode, Arius had apparently revealed to Aqua that Keyblade Wilders have the ability to create a land of oblivion. He never directly said Castle Oblivion. He said a land of oblivion where the Traveler will never find their way out of. He never specified a castle oblivion. So with that being said, with that being said, this is a technique that was passed down to protect a land of Keyblade Wars. What if, just like now, his, he made a journey, lost his memories, because Remember, by the time Burp by Sleep starts, even when he's training Xehanort, he seems unsure of who he is. He doesn't feel like he can control light or dark. There's a lot of things wrong, I guess is how we should put it, with Vin. He, he doesn't seem normal by any stretch of imagination from what we imagine of a Keyblade wielder from Aqua stance or, you know, uh, Terra stance, or hell, even Riku stance. Sora is even. So, what if, for the sake of theory, all this happened and led through the events of Chain of Memories, but for Roxas, and led to an issue where. You know, he had to be put to sleep to regain his original memories. And what if, during that sleep, something went wrong? Let's say, let's use the events of, a kingdom, of kingdom Hearts 2 as a count. Let's say everything worked normally up until that point. He was put to sleep, the original nobody came to rejoin. By the way, I don't think he had... Uh, any weird name. The yeah. S was a signifier yeah. of uh, those that could be used as Xehanort uh, uh, vessels, as told in uh, Dream Drop Distance. So I don't think he had any weird reverse name for an accident. He say Billy Bob. He named himself Billy Bob. There, <laughs> we'll do that. Uh, but uh, 
and nobody comes and rejoins. So what happens next? Well, theoretically, he should have woken up, just like Sora did. What if something went wrong in the sleep pod malfunction? What then? Well, obviously, more than likely, he would still be in the state that we see him in. I say he'd still be young because let's say something did go wrong. He probably wouldn't have been woken up until maybe centuries later, past the time of the Keyblade War. So let's speculate something went horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. Let's speculate he then, you know, woke woke up during the events of Birth by Sleep with. Memories. Some he recognizes. He knows his name. He knows minor details of who he is. He knows he can wield a keyblade. He doesn't remember exactly how to wield it. He's not proficient. Like the Vin of the uh, Danny Lions era. And Vin during the Danny Lions era would have had to be proficient. They would not have just started handing out, you know, uh, mastery titles to just any old person who walked in the door. That's not the way this whole shebang worked. So, you know, it's not like he just showed up one day and boom, was granted a title. I don't know where this final treasure chest is. But, you know, uh, let's say he started to forget all that. So, now we have the Vin that we see today. A more timid Vin, who didn't want anything to do with the darkness, to the point where Xehanort literally ripped it out of him, fracturing his heart. Then, during the end events, he had to face off against the darkness, and pretty much destroying his heart. This Vin is very much, you know, in a weakened state to begin with, and even more damaged by the time all these events happen to him. So, basically, he's now had it happen to him where his heart has been fractured, but there's still nothing to go with it. No darkness, no nobody, you know, from the second point on. Well, why is that? Well, what's the one thing we've never have seen recur in Kingdom Hearts this day? Ain't nobody coming back more than once. Now, what I'm sure you can say, and I'll give it to you, I'll give you the point, is well, Nomura was never ever thinking of them coming back more than once when he wrote the plot. Which very well is probably true. But for the convenience of this theory, let's say he was. Okay, so... Why would we have not seen that before? Well, because it hasn't needed to happen to this point. Xehanort, we know, has the ability to travel through time. So, you know, he has no real reason to want to, you know, go out and, you know, do the whole shebang over again. What reason does he need? I mean, hell, at this point, you know, all he needs to really do is, uh, you know, go and meet his past selves before they were ever destroyed and bring them to the, uh, future. Which is what he does exactly in, what else? Dream Drop Distance. Gotcha! Yeah! <laughs> 
So, you know, he does. This is where he dropped us, since why would he ever need to really bother on focusing on anybody else helping him realistically? Is the answer? He wouldn't. It's up there. I see it. Oh, I'm getting up there, but I see it. So, you know... That's the answer there. He wouldn't need to even risk it. Okay, so now I know what you're going to ask me. Well, what's the whole point of this then? If he doesn't need to risk it, then he doesn't need to risk it. Which means he would have never needed to risk it. Much, I just walked away, walked away myself, and walked myself in circles, didn't I? Well, no. You see, where the different scenario comes up here is that he has needed to risk it. Yeah. We know the battle start about to begin, and let's face it. Unless they just so happen, and I really don't see it happening, by the way. But unless they just so happen to go for Xehanort wins. Which, once again, I don't see happening. Xehanort's in a bit of a pickle, isn't he? He may need to risk it again. He may need to go through every motion that he did in the original game. <laughs> you know, he may need to take those steps to ensure that the future he sees for himself is the one he gets. see that happen so what do I think truly happened if I was a betting man which I'm not but if I was then at some point had a nobody Somewhere during the events of Kingdom Hearts, he had a nobody. Whether it's during the Union Crosshair or not, that's a whole nother discussion. He was asleep for a long time after reunification due to a malfunction. Xehanort found him and started training him as a boy was already weak in a weakened state, not sure of himself, and had pretty much by this point lost any real memories. Oh. And Xehanort used all this to get what he wanted. The Keyblade. That is the truths that I believed happened. History repeated itself. Vin was the first. Sora was the second. And history went ahead and repeated itself. Yeah. 
unfortunately, I think that we may see history repeat itself again. I don't like the time travel route it's taken, but I do understand it. Especially if it's leading to something like this in the next installment of Kingdom Hearts. So as I said, this was just a fun theory, speculating on where the future of the games could be going. Uh, where the, the history that they came from was, and what Vin's true role in everything yeah. might really be. I know that the scenarios I proposed are highly unlikely, you know, maybe even laughable. But I was looking to do something I hadn't done before. And this theory looked like a perfect excuse to do that. So, if you liked this theory, hey, great, I, I'm glad you did. If you didn't, no hate, it's, it's just a theory, it's just for fun. I don't mean harm by it, I don't mean to fracture your favorite franchise, because Kingdom Hearts is one of my favorite franchises too, and I actually put a lot of thought into this. And so, you know, no hate, please. If you didn't like it, you didn't like it. I'll understand. I know it's a little bit crazy what I'm proposing as well. But it's something that interested me. And so I figured, why not propose it? But, hey. Like if you like subscribe if you want and stick around because there is more coming this way on this channel including the top 10 worst keyboards of kingdom hearts one i'm still doing that as well as uh some other stuff i've been working on including the finale of the uh, uh final fantasy 15 six months later Just know that every watch I like, I don't ever want to pressure you guys into subscribing. I like the views and I like to like when you like. I like to know that I have content that you guys are finding provocative, I guess, uh, good to watch. Uh, I don't know how to put it, but you know, until next time, this is Omega Zone Gaming. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.